got a pair of a dark Pro One 215cc runner heads. These were cast in 2010. of course but these were also blowing about covers on got some green stud girdles go with them These are a damn good pair of cylinder heads. They flow over 300 CFM on the intake side. Well over 200 on the exhaust side. I'm gonna run them with a 650 lift solid roller cam. for your CCs of your runners. You got comp adjustable guide plates ERP 716 studs Springs and retainers. I believe they are Ferrera valves. Two oh eight one sixties. Looking at these fucking heads. This is what the dark pro ones look like a few years ago and then all of a sudden I don't know if it was five or seven years ago whenever the recent past when these Quantico heads popped up and everybody calling them dark pro one copies I'm not so fucking sure that's the case. I think people giving Dart a little, little too much credit there. One of my theory I have is the cost of aluminum in manufacturing in America become so fucking expensive that it was cheaper for Dart just to buy a fucking course from overseas and then ship them over here and finish them out themselves because that's what you modern pro one is literally identical I mean there's numerous names for these fucking heads but the pro one clones but is it a clone or is Dart just using the same fucking core as everybody else? Because this was a Dart. 
And then all of a sudden, those rolled into town, and then now everybody's fucking got a version of that head. But these fucking darts were different. Look at the way the intake faces and shit and the shape. That heat crossover ain't drilled through. You can drill it through if you feel the need that you need it, but it just deadheads so it don't go into the fucking port. old darts that's what they look like for years so yeah I think they might have just got too expensive to make them here or produce the fucking cores here and they just started doing with everybody AFR you know Hell, every goddamn head company's got a version of this fucking head now. I don't even remember what these were called. I think I got them from competition products. They were assembled. I got them from them because they set them up in their machine shop and shit and they were person wanted to bolt them on and go they could have but I stripped them down and I'm replacing most of the components plus I'm doing a little porting on them but I have numerous sets of these fucking heads and different brands but and you got all these fucking heads and you can lay them side by side and compare them. This is a real pro one. I think these were probably the last pro ones cast in America. And then they went to this style and I think they just jumped on the fucking... The, import fucking bandwagon these are damn good cylinder heads they're fucking expensive you can't even buy these type anymore and if you do want to buy a pair of dart heads you got like a six month fucking waiting list and shit it's done got ridiculous. Dart ain't what it used to be. You know, Dart sold out to a multinational conglomerate. You know, people that buy up all these fucking companies and milk them for every penny they can get out of them and run them in the fucking ground. And Dart ain't what Dart was 20 fucking years ago. So, just because you've been using a brand for years and you hear that name and it makes you feel all warm and fuzzy inside, don't mean shit ain't changed. And in the last fucking five to ten years, a lot of shit's changed. And one of the biggest fucking things that's changed is manufacturing in America is being sent everywhere but America. It costs too much to make shit in America. So all these fucking companies that's either fucking give in or fucking give up I'd rather have a pair of these you know, like 13 year old fucking dart heads than I would a brand new set. These 
fucker's got polished chambers and shit. A nice set of heads. I just need to clean them up a little bit. And I might stick another set of springs in them. Put them back together. Fuckers have very low miles on. Actually, they're eight mile at a time, fucking miles. So they're on a drag car. They haven't been used in a couple of years. That is your real fucking deal. Dark Pro 1, 215cc. Pro 1. Dart. Double 04. So yeah, it's a big fucking difference in these castings. You just... Look at the way it's fucking made. It's totally different. These are not the same fucking head, obviously. But these are these are good heads, but there's just a lot of fucking bullshit going on out there. And People are not being completely honest about it. We have are admitting that they're using import castings and then putting their own guides and valves and shit in them. But at this point, unless I fucking went to Dart personally and watched the fucking, watched the heads come out of the fucking mold I would fucking believe that they're probably buying the same fucking cores AFR and you know everybody else is fucking buying Skip White Assault you know the KMJs NKVs and all that shit, Renegades. And I'm not so sure Dart ain't buying the same fucking cores. Cause, like I said, that is identical to a fucking. You buy a Dart Pro 1 head today, that's what you're gonna get. If you've done a, bought a pro, Dart Pro 1 head, seven to ten years ago maybe even five to ten years ago I don't even know when they switched them over but that's what you would have got and there is a difference in these motherfuckers these fucking dart heads cost a goddamn fortune now too these are nicely ported like 12 old 6 entries. Alright. They don't have fucking billboards on the end of them. Making sure the world knows. Like a lot of heads are nowadays. I don't like that fucking movie Idiocracy where everybody in the future was walking around wearing shirts with all these fucking corporate logos and shit all over them. Look like fucking NASCAR fucking pit crew fuckers. Except it was like goddamn Taco Bell and Hardee's and shit all over them. Back in the day, nobody gave a fuck about 
that shit. You knew what you had. You bought it. You knew what you fucking had. And there's the only identification on the exterior of the fucking head. That's all you needed to know. Fucking stud girls here. Those are real good. Spring loaded. You can just loosen up a cylinder at a time. Go through your lash. But these are good heads, but I'm so sure they're fucking everybody's ripping off a fucking dart head I think they're all just buying the same fucking cores that's just my take on it it's my observation of looking at shitloads of fucking cylinder heads and making comparisons don't take a rocket scientist to figure some of this shit out. There you go. Here's your angle plug 215cc Dark Pro 1 2010 model.